Hey, today I'm going to try to show you how to establish serial communication between MIB unit using something like this with a PC. So first of all, we need a couple things. We have we need a MIB unit. Uh, if you are working on bench, not in your vehicle, you need a power supply. So you need to provide 12 volts, at least three three amps. I have five amps over here. You need to somehow connect this power connection over here plus 12 volts over here, ground over here. I can show you how this looks when you remove the quad lock connector. If you don't have a quad lock connector on your bench, you can use crocodile clips. Plus 12 volts and ground. You also want to connect serial communication. Those two wires, purple and blue one on those pins here and here and you need a uh, common ground between the between the MIB unit and between your serial device i'm using uh, this small thing this is ch340 you can get it on aliexpress it's pretty cheap just two bucks or so and uh, everything other over here, over here, I believe, is optional. You don't need to connect the display, but I will have a display connected. You don't need uh, other um, other serial connections. Be uh, there are several over here, but those are not uh, required over here right now. So let's say that you have your MIB connected to power. Well, prepared to connect it to power right now. I have it disconnected and let's say you have your um, serial to USB uh, adapter connected to your PC. USB hub is not required, you can use just a USB port. Um, you need to set this device to 3.3 volts. I will show you it over here. You can see that the Pin number one is five volts and pin number three is 3.3 uh, volts. And we have a jumper connecting the second one with the third one. You want to make sure that this is connected this way. So the logic levels are not too high for the, uh, for the unit. If, there, uh, if this is set to five volts, you might damage your unit. So be aware of this. Okay, so right now let's check. Let's check it over here. Once you have this connected to your PC, go to the device manager and go to ports, com and LPT, and you will see the USB to serial device, and it's um, uh, it's available at communication port number seven. So remember that um, seven over here. If you are um, disconnected it and connecting to a different port, you might have a different number over here. So this is my case. In my case, is it's COM7, but in your case, it will be something else. And over here, I will start a new session. So I'm going to open PuTTY. This is an application for the serial communication and I'm going to show you how the profile should look like. So you want to set it to the COM7 right now, because this is where the serial device is. You want to set this speed, exactly this speed. You want the connection type to be serial, and that's pretty much it right now. We want to open the connection. So let's press open, and a black window will pop up. Let's go full screen. And right now, just the moment when I connect power over here, we will see a lot of output over here. So maybe let's try it. I will try to be fast so we can see how this starts. And we know that device is booting up. Even though 
even though the display is off, the device is booting up, it's working. And different components are loading over here. We have some error codes because this device uh, is not connected to the rest of the vehicles. So there are things missing that this device expects to receive from the vehicle and other equipment. We can turn it on. We can see that the output over here is is um, it's mirroring that it's um, turned it on right now. User interface is still loading. Okay, and after a few minutes, this should um, uh, should be a little bit slower once all those components are loaded over here. We can also check what will happen if I um, put an SD card into the unit, how it, it will behave. I want to think over here about the SD card actually. Okay, but well, this, those are the basics of the uh, serial communication with the MIP unit. And now, depending on which unit you have, which firmware and so on, there are different things that you can or cannot do over here. Hope that this helped, helped you.